Hello everybody, this is Joey, and um, welcome on day four of Vlogtober. Take three, uh, I've made this video twice already. The first time the audio didn't sync with the video, and the second time I didn't have any audio. So, did some switching around, uh, playing around some settings. Hopefully this one works. So I think I'm getting better at it, that's the good news. Alright, today I'm going to talk about books, uh, and specifically books that I have started to read but have not finished. And these books are pretty good books that I just never got around to finishing uh, and only made it part of the way into. So hopefully at some point in the future I will finish these books. I plan, totally plan to finish these books. I just, you know, for whatever reason lost interest in the book or things happened and forgot about it and uh, just never finished the book. So right to it. First book, and I'm currently reading this one and am almost finished with it. You can see right here my little thing. Almost finished. Uh, it's called Moonseed by Stephen Baxter, and it's the most annoying thing about this book is it's got this little biohazard. I don't know if you can read that. It's, it's got the biohazard symbol. It's about. I have no clue what that has to do with the book. It's nothing. It's, I can't figure it out. So why that has that on there? Uh, unless that is some, you know, series that this is a book of. I don't know, but. Uh, um, it says biohazard on the front. Anyway, it's a hard science fiction novel by Stephen Baxter, obviously, and uh, it's basically about a uh, uh, Apollo mission to the moon. They find this mysterious rock and brings back this moon seed that destroys or starts to destroy the Earth. So uh, it's all about that and getting out of it, or trying to get out of it, or figure out what it is and trying to solve the problem. So anyway. Uh, it's a really good book. I really enjoy Stephen Baxter. I think he's a great science fiction novelist. Uh, he writes in the hard fiction, hard science um, genre, so uh, that's what I really enjoy. I really enjoy uh, reading about things that could be kind of true uh, as the years go by and theories are updated and things like that. Some of these books kind of fall by the wayside, but uh, I think this one's pretty good, and one chapter has a, a extremely prophetic uh, account of a nuclear meltdown uh, due to earthquake. Um, so it's very similar to what happened in Japan, extremely similar. Uh, so um, it was uh, quite interesting to read that 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 particular chapter. So. Uh, and this was written years before that, so that's why I say it was prophetic. Anyway, good book. Gonna finish it probably, if not today, tomorrow. Uh, let's see, I got Annals of the Former World by John McPhee, and this is just a geology book. Uh, I, I, I bought this one so long ago, I don't remember what it's really about. I'm pretty sure it's just about the geology of the United States. Uh, but I'm not sure kind of what perspective it's coming from. It's uh, quite lengthy, uh, but the words are big. It's big print, so uh, it shouldn't take me too long to get through this one, hopefully. Uh, I actually started reading it long, long ago and just never, never finished it. So uh, at some point, I hope I do finish it. Uh, I was a big, I was a geology major and I love uh, reading about and learning about geology. I think it's just about a guy and his travels across the United States and kind of what he sees geologically from that. So anyway, uh, there's another one. Uh, what do we got here? A Concise History of Buddhism by Andrew Skilton. And there's that one. And this was a book that I picked up because I wanted to learn a little bit about Buddhism and it was at, it's a, printed by Barnes & Noble so it's one of their El Cheapo books. And it was like on the discount table, so it was like a dollar or something like that, or a dollar ninety-nine, something very cheap. I made it about halfway through this one. It's basically just a Buddhism family tree. It's uh, starting at the beginning and kind of how everything branches out into the different forms of Buddhism. So uh, it's a pretty interesting read. Uh, I was reading it on vacation, and when I got back from vacation, I never picked it back up. So um, got to pick that one back up and finish it at some point. Probably won't be. Uh, in the next month or so, but definitely going to try to finish that one off. Uh, so, what do we got? The Family, yes. Here we go. The Family by Jeff Charlotte. 
is my next book and it's subtitled The Secret Fundamentalism at the Heart of American Power and the family is basically just a loose uh, semi-organized group of people uh, politicians uh, wealthy people things like that that uh, power brokers that um, are fundamentalist Christians that are kind of just grouped together uh, actually saw an interview with Jeff Charlotte, uh, John Stewart uh, interviewed him on The Daily Show a few years ago and I saw that so uh, that's where I got the idea to read the book or buy the book uh, and it's basically this guy just goes in there and inf infiltrates this group and, and writes a book about it uh, it's pretty interesting and uh, well written uh, really good writing style I like that and I can't remember why I stopped reading this but uh, I think it was another one of the things where something happened I moved or something and just never uh, you know after the big event I never went back to it so uh, I'm about a third of the way through this one and uh, it's very interesting and I'm looking forward to finishing that one uh, next one is Stanislav Lem Fiasco uh, Stanislav Lem is a Polish science fiction writer he's famous for writing Solaris which was a movie uh, made in Russia in 1972 I think and uh, so I was a big fan of that I worked, used to work at a video store and uh, basically went through their whole foreign movie section and uh, uh, that was one of the movies I really enjoy it I've got it on DVD now and uh, there's also an American version I think it was made in the early 2000s maybe late 90s starring George Clooney not as good so um, and nothing like the book at all so uh, he's written a lot of science fiction novels, Stanislav Lem has, and I've enjoyed every one of them, and for whatever reason I keep starting this one and never quite finishing it. So hopefully I will finish this one the next time I start it. I plan to finish it the next time I start it. It's a big goal of mine to finish this book. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the book. I don't know why I can't manage to finish it, but it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's a good read. I just can't seem to get over that hump on this one so I'll get back to this one uh, let's see the next one is what do you do all day out there or retired in the Texas Hill Country at age 49 by Howard Randall there we go and this book is an autobiography of Howard Randall obviously uh, after he retired uh, to the Texas Hill Country and I picked this up at the uh, uh, Austin Public Library when I lived in Austin, Texas and I was kind of researching um, moving around, moving out kind of living on my own in kind of a Ted Kaczynski kind of way only minus sending people bombs and uh, <laughs> um, this is a book I kind of stumbled across and it didn't really go down that, that route of uh, you know shunning technology and things like that but it it was a it was really interesting i got about i don't know maybe three or four or five six seven chapters into it they're really short chapters and um uh i, I you know got you know maybe a quarter of the way into the book and just never finished it and ended up uh forgetting to take it back to the library and then they sent me a letter charging me for the book so i just paid for the book and then uh, I decided that uh, if I ever did finish the book that I would send it back to the Austin Public Library so Austin Public Library here's your book as soon as I finish this book which I hope will be before the end of this year um, I will put it in the mail and send it back to you so <laughs> um, yeah there's that so uh, you can actually buy this book I've, I've seen it on uh, eBay and Amazon there are copies still available out there so if you're really interested in uh, uh, what this book has to offer, you can still get it. Uh, the final book on my list here, a short list of books that I've never finished but started reading, is Breath by Breath, The Liberating Practice of Insight Meditation by Larry Rosenberg. And there we go. There it is. Bought this one off of Amazon. Uh, looks like it was printed in 2004 maybe no 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 printed in 2004 but it looks like uh, 
mid 90s mid to late 90s was when it was actually written anyway it's in the eastern philosophy section and uh, this came as a recommendation from a guy that I met here in Nashville who is a practicing Buddhist and uh, he uh, uh, I wanted to find out more about Buddhism and um, uh, meditation and things like that so I uh, emailed one of the local uh, Buddhist centers here and uh, they hooked me up with this guy and we, we talked you know maybe for about an hour, hour and a half something like that and just about Buddhism and his experiences and what certain things were and this was the book he said that he would recommend as far as learning how to uh, to meditate so at some point I do hope to learn how to meditate and this is the book I'm going to use to do it this is actually going to be the next book I read so after I finish Moon Seed which will be like I said tomorrow maybe the next day so really looking forward to it I did start it I just kind of read the introduction to this one um, and part of the first chapter but I'm looking forward to this one can't wait to get into it uh, that's all the books I got for today I wanted to keep this video you know moderately short so or certainly shorter than most of my other videos which is not hard to do actually because all my videos are kind of long I will go back and um, uh, talk about some more of the books in my collection I got quite a large collection of books or I used to have a huge collection of books and uh, uh, been trying to get rid of most of the books uh, all the ones that I have read have been removed from the house except for a select few that I plan to reread and uh, as I read them I'm going to start taking them to the used bookstore to uh, to resell them or I'll take them to Goodwill if the used bookstore won't take them uh, <laughs> so um, uh, that's my big project I'm going to start working on that I used to be quite a collector and I've collected a lot of books that I've not read so um, now I'm going to get down to the dirty work of actually reading them so anyway that's what I want to talk about today books might come back and visit it later again in the month uh, so peace out, and I'll see you next time.